I'm Chanel Thurville. I'm an artist, I'm an educator, and I'm really excited to be hanging out with you to celebrate Juneteenth. Whether you're looking behind me, beside me, or all around me, uh, you can tell that my studio is a pretty active place. There tends to be a lot going on here, and it almost always involves vibrant, bright colors, a little bit of joy, um, and often depictions of people of color that are all about amplifying their beauty um, and integrity. I am definitely not an artist who is alone in that fight of wanting to use their work to talk about important things. The artist that's actually gonna inspire our making today is Roberto Lugo. He has a ceramic piece called Law and Order, the reincarnation of Frederick Douglass that he actually is doing an in-depth talk about as a part of his Juneteenth stream. So if the name sounds familiar, that's probably why. If the name doesn't sound familiar, please stick around and watch his artist talk as well. One of the parts of his work that really resonates with me is seeing how he is highlighting the interconnectedness of political figures, police, and their impact on the livelihood of Black people in this country. If you look closely at the work Law and Order made by Roberto, you'll find that he includes um, really intricate patterning and detail work. Uh, some of the images on the ceramic piece itself allude to graffiti origins. And you can also see the depictions of people like Frederick Douglass, Donald Trump, Trayvon Martin, and Michael Brown um, as a way for him again to really highlight the interconnectedness of all of these people and the issues that surround them to the past, present, and future um, of this country. Roberto's ceramic work served as a capsule for the interconnectedness of all of these issues. With that in mind, I thought it'd be great for us to make our own capsules celebrating joy. In order to get started, you'll need a handy dandy template, some magazines, um, some markers and or colored pencils, whatever you wanna add color with, some glue and scissors. Also know if you don't have a printer to print out the template, you can also just make a big circle on whatever surface you're using to draw and that'll be the inside of your joy capsule. So for me, when I think about joy, black joy specifically, one of the places that I go immediately is to hair and hair products. I feel like there is a versatility in black hair that is just so joyful and amazing and playful. So one of the things that I'm putting in my joy capsule are some hair products. Um, Cause I feel like that's such a big part of um, my experience as a black woman, thinking about all of these ways I can transform and change my hair and the greases and pomades and lotions that help me achieve that and keep, keep it all from breaking off. <laughs> Um, in addition to thinking about um, black hair care products, another, another thing that brings me joy as a black person is indulging in our delicious food. Um, blackness is so diverse, so rich, um, and everyone's using tasty spices <laughs> and seasonings. Um, but if I had to like peg it down to just one food that I feel like epitomizes black joy for me it is definitely biscuits um so I've drawn some biscuits there and there's a little bit of butter action with a little butter knife um another thing that makes me think a lot about joy as a black person uh more recently I've been thinking a lot about sunflowers um Aqua Homes has this really awesome project called the Roxbury Sun Pro Sunflower Project and I've been thinking a lot about that idea of having a sunflower, these plants that face the sun um, as a symbol of joy and resilience. I think that's really beautiful. And last but not least, um, on my black joy list, 
I actually was thinking about hugs from my mom, but I didn't feel like drawing people hugging. So instead I just drew a heart because, you know, symbolism works too, folks. <laughs> um, so now you can see that I've busted out the magazine and I found this really awesome pattern on that woman's shirt that I'm going to cut out and use to support the design of my joy capsule. So you can see me here just cutting it up. And if you are someone who's using magazines or newspapers to support your creation, don't be afraid to cut things up. Uh, this is all about transforming those layers. So I ended up cutting out those pieces of that lady's shirt, but I've decided to let them sit for a minute while I actually start coloring some of the parts of my joy capsule. You know, gotta get the sunflower action, the heart action, the hair, hair product action. Nothing like adding in the colors to make it all become more vibrant and lively. So again, in thinking about Roberto's work, he was really awesome in using these really intricate patterns and designs. So I wanted to infuse that into my capsule as well. Like, I really like the way that he layered these really basic shapes over each other to make something dynamic. For me, in the purple spaces, I was really just making C's over and over and over each other to create that texture. You can also see now that I've colored in some solid spots of green so I can glue those really cool um, cutouts from that woman's shirt in the magazine that I thought had some great textures and pattern action. So yeah, don't be afraid to layer it up, folks. If you are using markers or crayons or color pencils, whatever tools you're using, don't be afraid to add the layers of magazine or newspaper on top or even in between. If you feel really uh, courageous, you can actually make some slits in your paper and slide the magazine or newspaper through those as well. Um, once again, I'm jumping back into creating some patterns. So I'm going off with the lines of blue. So part of what makes this activity really fun is that you can get really into the grooves of making these detailed patterns out of really simple shapes and it becomes really peaceful and meditative as you get closer to the finish line of completing it all. I recommend for folks who are doing this activity to try to integrate at least three different symbols or objects or people or places um, that connect to joy for you. Um, again, I think one of the major points of Roberto's work is trying to get people to see connections between things that may not seem connected at first. And I think similarly as human beings, like our li the fabric of our lives are so rich, right? And there's so many pieces of our experiences that are intertwined to each other. Um, so just spend a little time reflecting on that, like what elements of your life really make you feel joyful and thinking about objects or symbols um, that you can do to signify all of that. So I've got all the parts colored in that I feel really good about. I've added in the last of my um, paper from the magazine. And now I'm writing my signature on it. Because, you know, you're, art you're an artist. You always got to sign your work. It has to happen. But yeah, we're all done. So here we are, folks. This is my finished joy capsule. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that your artwork is bringing you tons of joy, too.